Hello, um, today I wanted to talk about the type of food I actually eat, but I just read an article because I'm always researching about the connection between food and migraine and um, other diseases or ailments that we can get. And I read something that really <laughs> fired me up to just talk about this today. Um, uh, science does recognize there's a connection between um, gluten and uh, headache and migraine, but they kind of also say, well, um, not there need to be more studies and uh, it's not really definite and we cannot really say for sure. A little bit, yes, it does impact how we feel, but um, yeah, we we can't know for sure and we need to study more and that really um, and this is a simplified version of what I read, of course it's written much more uh, scientific, but um, that really um, gets to me because, um, uh, well, without getting into politics and about the industry behind a lot, you know, and companies wanting to make money and all the products out there which have a lot of gluten, um, but just the common sense that um, people can actually uh, test themselves by by eating differently, um, how they feel, because our body is the biggest um, antenna really to tell us what's going on. Um, so I think we, you know, personally me at least, I didn't want to wait for science to confirm in a way that it's now mainstream that people say, you know, we should maybe take the gluten out of our food as much as possible. Um, I don't want to wait for that. I want to um, change something myself and then the fact that I feel better for me uh, really proves the point. Of course, everybody is different, and I think that's another big point in what I do and the work I do. That um, I want my clients to um, find out themselves what their body actually needs and what it thrives with. So that's really um, very personal. Um, on the other hand, I do think that uh, gluten generally is not really good for anybody. It kind of uh, clogs up our, our um, intestine. It causes inflammatory responses. There's a lot of research on that, uh, um, you know, backing that up. Um, but it's more the alternative research. It's not the mainstream research that much yet. Because, of course, it would mean, you know, a big change for everybody. Um, I uh, think that... Um, leaving out these foods for a while and trying, finding out how does does one feel. Um, if you are a headache sufferer, migraine sufferer, do you feel actually better? Do you not have um, migraine at all or not that much or a lighter bout? Then, you know, that's really important, I think, and it's an easy way to, f to find out. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to bring that across to not wait for research or not maybe, I mean, doctors are good and doctors are there for a reason, um, but uh, before we go to the hard drugs or we get told, um, oh, you, this is genetic, you have migraine and you will have to live with that, uh, no, you know, there is ways we can, we can find out, change things, have a better life and a, a happier life, I think, because... You know, it depends a lot of on us. The choices we make every day uh, really influence how we feel. And um, it can be fun. You know, it sounds very hard. I had a hard time with the thought of giving up my Bavarian bratzels because I love them. And sometimes I do eat them. But, um, you know, I try to have that very rarely. And um, then when I do really enjoy it. And um, But mo mostly try and eat in a way that I know my body likes and doesn't kind of but I feel like punish me with the headache. And food is not everything. There is other um, aspects to that. I um, There's lifestyle aspects that need to be taken into consideration. But I think starting with food is the most important part. It's like our car with the wrong fuel. It's not going to uh, go on for very long. It's not going to drive smoothly. And I think it's the same for our bodies. Um, that was kind of, I think, my main message out there. Um, just because it wound me up to read, you know, we need to research more. No, let's just try this out. And if you have any, um, you know, you want to try that, um, I have tips on that. You know, I will share those, you know, what to eat. I will also 
um, release my uh, free kind of guide on that. Um, there will be much more information, so it makes it easier for you to, to start and see, okay, what do I do now? What do I eat instead? There's a lot of good things, so it doesn't have to be a hard way. It can be fun. Okay, that was my message. Uh, have a good pain-free day, and uh, yeah, mm, tomorrow uh, there will be a next uh, version, and then I will talk about what I do eat to make it easier. Okay, bye.